If you don't know why you would need a filament dryer, just look at these two cases. Look how the one on the left is shiny and okayish in the surface, while the one on the right looks, well, just terrible. These two cases were printed to test the printer, same model, same configuration, same parameters, same filament roll. The only difference is that I dry the TPU after I saw the results of the first print. The story of wet filament is not completely true for all filaments, like PLA doesn't need that much drying unless you find it brittle. But there are filaments that absorb more moisture than others. I print a lot with TPU and TPU does this all the time, so before I print with them I have to dry them up. That's the reason why I'm testing many filament dryers, to find the one that fits better my setup. I have tested dryers from different brands and all of them have their pros and their cons. And today I will be testing the Sovol SH-02. Just remember, if you need to print a part professionally or if you need to do some CNC routing, you should look at services like JLC3DP. They can print in different engineering level plastic or can do SLS in nylon, resin or CNC metal. The process is as simple as to upload your file through their website, choose the material you want to print, you choose a finish, and you will get an immediate quotation. Then it's just to sit and wait for your high quality product to be shipped to your place. Let me start with what I like about this dryer. It's promoted as reaching drying temperatures very fast, with in theory 50 Celsius in 7 minutes and 70 Celsius in 25 minutes. I'm not going to test scientifically if the advertised times are accurate, but I do see that my filament started to dry quite quickly if we look at the relative humidity inside the box. The way the whole unit closes and seals is pretty good. It feels good. You have that satisfactory closing click with the handle in the front every time that you close it. I found some other drying boxes that are very uncomfortable to open and close but this one is just a breath and it makes it relatively easy to handle the roll while opening and closing the unit. The screen is also very nice. It's easy to read, it has all the information that I would expect to have, it's responsive and it's, as suspected these days, it allows me to cycle between the different filament types. Not like other drying boxes where you have to know by heart the temperature that you want to use and input it manually. Here you see it very nicely. Each profile has a temperature and you can just cycle between all of them, among all of them, with the controls on the screen. As most of the dryers these days, you can print directly while drying, meaning that the unit works as a filament holder as well. It has four independent rods inside to allow you to use filament spools at the same time with two different machines. In theory, it accepts bigger spools, but I will say that it's only wider spools and not really bigger. Let's see now what I didn't like that much. I mentioned in the pro section that the unit fits two spools or one wider. I don't really know how true this is since there is no more space for a bigger spool. It's just to the sides so you can have something, which means you're limited to 200 millimeters of diameter on this, the roll, but you could use up to 150 millimeters of width. I don't know many spools of this 200 millimeters times 150, but maybe you do. And if you do, let me know in the comments what brands are out there that will support this. I'm pretty sure this shouldn't be very common, but one of my rods didn't work very well. After inspecting it closely, I saw that there was some kind of goo in the bearing, like some kind of melted plastic of some sort. And even after I removed this from the bearing, it seems like it was affected and the whole rod is not rolling quite well. I did try to remove the bearing to replace it, but I couldn't. And I felt I was going to break the whole thing if I tried to pry it with a little bit more strength. Still, the spool is rolling, but not as smooth as it should be. And again, I don't think this should be or this is something very common, just bad luck. Then there was another thing that kind of bothered me a little bit. If you look, I selected TPU to dry TPU with a unit, 
I turned it off and when I turned it on, it went back to the default, which is PLA. In my case, again, I dry a lot of TPU. I don't work or I don't dry that much PLA. So I would like the unit to stay in, in TPU, but it, it just doesn't do it. I don't know if there is a chance for an update on the firmware to do this later, but for me, it's, it's a little bit annoying. Then the real deal breaker for me, it's the filament exit points. If you look at them, it's really cool. You have this rubber lid that you can put in place when not using the exit point to keep the box sealed. But my complaint here is that there is only one direction for these holes and it's to the front, which will force me to place the unit facing the printer and making it difficult to interact with the screen at the same time that the unit is running. Most other dryers have several exit points, back, front, flat, etc. This one has only the front and it kind of mess up the arrangement that I could have with this unit on my bench. Here are my final thoughts. This dryer is solid. The dryer box does what it should be doing, drying your filament, and it does it quickly. It uses a very simple interface which allows you to interact with the unit in an intuitive way. And if you can get over the positioning of the filament dryer next to your printer that I mentioned as a deal breaker for me, then this dryer at only 69 US dollar is a very good choice. There is nothing earth shaking out of this box. It has simple features, which is going to be good for those ones that doesn't need any of the fancy features of other filament dryers out there. So if you're in the market for something that is just going to do that work, drying your filament and fitting it to your printer, and the positioning is not a deal breaker for you because your printer is different than mine, then have a look at this unit because I think there is something good about it. This is what I have for you today. Thank you for watching and see you soon.